So how do you keep warm in 1822 during the winter? Houses like this would have used the fireplace for heat. And this is great if you have a nice fire going, you can sit right next to the fireplace. But what if you're like me and you want to sit back against the window to get some natural light? Well, one of the ways you might keep warm is what I'm doing now. You might have a quilt on your lap or wrapped around your shoulders. And this is a special sort of quilt that you might find in many homes in the 1800s. And it's called a crazy quilt. What makes it crazy? Well, one of the things is there's a lot of different fabrics all stitched together. And a lot of these are really tiny pieces. And this is because at this time, there weren't big craft stores in every city. You'd often have to go to Detroit or Pontiac for a really good variety of fabric because your local dry goods store, if you had one, would maybe only carry one or two different fabrics for you to choose from. And especially fabrics like silk or velvet, you didn't want any bit of those to go to waste. And so these stitches holding everything together are a special kind of embroidery called English embroidery. And they were meant to be very visible on the surface of the quilt. And so they'd use different contrasting colors and sometimes special designs too, like stars or flowers. These quilts were getting so popular towards the latter half of the 1800s that craft companies started selling kits made up of different types of scrap fabrics. So if you didn't have enough scrap fabrics to make your own crazy quilt, you could buy kits and make your own. And in 1884, a magazine estimated that a large crazy quilt could take as long as 1,500 hours to complete. That's about 62 days. So it's a lot of work. And if you're like me and your feet are always cold, this is going to be your best friend. This is called a foot warmer and it is a metal box inside of a wooden frame. Some of these are very, very intricate, but ours is a little bit more on the simpler side. And how this would work is you would take coals from the fire and you'd put it inside this box here. You'd close it up and you'd carry it around with you. Metal is a great conductor of heat, which means that the coals on the inside would be able to radiate heat out through the wooden box and it would warm up the air around it. So a lot of people would take these, say if you were walking around your house and you knew you were gonna sit down in the corner get some sewing done, maybe work on your crazy quilt, and you wanted to keep your feet warm. Or maybe you were going out on a carriage ride. You'd bring this along with you, has a little handle here, and you could set it down at your feet and, well, keep a little bit of you warm. How do you keep warm in your house today?